Hi guys, you're watching Rivals of M and this is Doncaster Rovers playthrough The Rise of Glory, episode 31. So in this episode, we're going to be taking on um, Rio Ave, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, are they Portuguese? Yeah, they're Portuguese. So this isn't Europa League, so we need we need to win this to qualify, I think. Winning this thing gets into group stages, I believe. So anyway, there's no, nothing to report. Um, no injuries or anything. There's no further games being played. This is the next game on from the last episode. So today we're making a few little changes, we're switching a few players around. I'm actually going to put him in instead of Barth. Yeah, we'll do that. And it can be a ball playing defender. There we go. So we're going to go with this one today. Ball playing defender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that. We're going to go with this one today. We'll feel the changes just to ensure we don't have injuries. We've got Volpe in there, Mancini and Golden Eager on centre back partnership. Minks on left. They're replacing Rodriguez just for fatigue reasons. Fredericks on right, Garcia, Salas and Mori in centre. I did opt to go with Garcia because it's a little bit more familiar and it's a, a game I really need to win into. We just get a good result at home, so it's not as not so much pressure away from home. Got Guari, Iboko and Dolorosa up front. So without further ado, let's crack on. I expect a, a convincing victory, to be honest. I don't expect this to be very, very close. Our home form should be a lot better than our away form. Yeah, after nearly start, it'd be fantastic, but it doesn't look like it, does it? Sousa, it's headed straight back out though. Now they're on the counter attack. It's about 5 on 2 there. Sousa's uh, ricocheted off him, but he got a good position. Sousa has it down to Garcia. Mori's got Sousa. If you can find him, he's gone for De La Rosa. Playing around in centre here. Garcia finds a Boko. Nice turn and nice finish. That is beautiful from a Boko. So is he going to be fighting for a stake in the first, first team? It's possible. No, it's hard to say, isn't it? I mean, the only other thing you could really do is drop Guari, I think. Because Balde's not going to lose his place. He's our best striker, I think. So you put Balde in centre, quite possibly. Guari's back up. Iboko aren't right. Marquise is better than Iboko. I think he just needs to find his uh, form a little bit. Iboko's been here for a year, though, hasn't he? So he's got a lot of experience behind him in the team. Edge of box again. We like to do this, don't we? We don't have anyone covering our edge of box. I think I need to look at my set pieces and change that, to be honest. So Boko doesn't seem to have really improved from last year, does it? Maybe his pace. I think his pace is up to 16 from a 15, but that's about it. Uh, Golden Ager, he's, um, he's got the yellow card. It's going to be typical in his first game, he'll get red. Marrera plays it outright, but Fredericks gets onto it, and Guar is running. He's going over through one on one. It's an opportunity here. He slotted it away nicely. That's a beautiful finish from him. I think our, our three main strikers, Marquez. Guari and Balde are all brilliant strikers, you know, brilliantly able to finish the ball. Look at this. Nice. Or is it just bad goalkeeping? I'm not sure, actually. Anyway, 2-0 up, so 2-0 25 minutes. It's a very good start. This is what we're hoping for, so we need to advance on this and score a few more goals. I'd like to see Dolorosa get off the mark as well. A young player, though, so it might not be uh, as easy as that for him. Now, they're counter-attacking here. They've got man out on left. Frederick seems to get back, but he seems to have tripped over or something. But no, nope, recu recuperates very well. Attacking out on right hand side then. Mings is on him. Mings looks like a giant compared to him, doesn't he? Gabriel. Mings is just standing off him. They've hoofed it up and they've got gone through one on one here. It's a good save, I Volpe. Very good save. That one of the things last year, wasn't it? You could tell the difference in quality from our team to other teams with the goalkeepers. Edge of box here. Cross him. It's good, good defending there by the player. Managed to, uh, managed to tame the shot a little bit. Made it easy for goalkeeper. Approaching half time 2 0. I don't think there's much change really to make. Della Ross could probably look weird. Look to be replaced. Down, down, down 6.4. Let's motivate it though. Who's that guy? It's a, a typical Brazilian name, isn't it? Garcia, Boko. Della Rossa. Salsa. Oh, I see the crossbar. That would have been a little bit of a perk for Della Rossa, wouldn't it, if you got an assist? I'm not going to take him off though, because I don't want to destroy his confidence. What I may do is change some of the strikes around him. It might bring him into the game a little bit more. Saying that, they both scored and they're both like you know, top rate, rated players on team. Mings on the ball to Sousa. He's got man in centre if he wants to find him, but he's got Mings on left and he's found him. To Garcia, through to centre Mori. Finds Guari. De La Rosa. Oh, he's had a shot. Not too bad. It's good effort. I'm glad that he's going for these shots. Shows sure that he's confident enough to do it. He's taking his time up earlier. Come on, defenders, get your head on it. 
So they're playing it. Trying to play it around a little bit. They've got man not left and we've overlooked it completely. Machini gets to it though. This Mori finds Sousa. Plays it over top to De La Rosa. Get a good ball in here. It's going to be a goal. There you go. Guari gets his head on it. This Guari is looking good. I'm kind of glad now that I didn't go for uh, Marquez instead of him. If I had two Marquez in front line, wouldn't we if I did? So 3 0. It looks like we're just cruising with this, doesn't it? it looks like that's good because we can rest some players for the second game. I think in four days we've got Crystal Palace coming up. So 3-0 here then. So make a few changes possibly. Could do Kunat, just rest him a few. Or rest who we think is going to be the main player. So Fred has come off for Alexander. He looks like he'll probably do with game time because his condition is 74%. He's very similar. Keep him on though for that sort of reason. Have we Bath? Could probably bring him on. Bath Mancini will bring him on. Um, who else? Okay, okay. Guari. Full day, we'll do that. Let's crack on with that. Three man substitution, let's just say we don't get any injuries now. So they're playing up right hand side, but they drift it into the centre again. Looks like they want to try and play around this team, don't they? We're just not really giving them space. But saying that, it's, it's broke away. We're just napping there, aren't we? Our defence needs to turn on a little bit better than that. Not sure how to improve that, to be honest. Unless we sat deeper, possibly. Mings, Sousa, Mori. Place over top, it's looking for Dolorosa. Rossa. Doesn't seem to have turned on, though. Turned on. Now they're attacking the right hand side, so they're playing it around. We're allowing them to play it around, though. That's a good. God, Dineke gets his foot on it and just clears it away. Not quite what I expected from the ball playing defender, though. Come, Mings. Oh my god. It's a good finish. Mings just stood off him. What was that? <clears throat> Defensively, not great, that is it. Maybe Bath is the issue then. It's quite possible, isn't it? Well, I, might, I might go with Gondonega and um, Mancini in defence instead of Bath, to be honest. Sousa plays off De La Rosa, takes a good touch. Goes outwards, crosses it Mings, crosses it in, ball day! Oh, I thought he put it in. I thought he got a goal. They were offside anyway. I think Guari would have had that on target. Don't want to concede another one, otherwise it's not going to be what we expected, is it, for the next game? We're not going to be resting players. Oh, God, he's took a step back. It's done, done well. <laughs> That's just cheeky. That's just cheeky in defence, isn't it? Ball down right hand side. What could, no, it's it both on right hand side. Sorry. Oh, there you go. Della Ross, uh, it's good job I stuck with him. It's come good. It's a nice finish. Nice off the ball movement there from him. Sousa played it up to Boko. Had a bit of space. First, just let him down a little bit because it allowed the defender to get back into position. But a good cross. And Della Ross just nips between the two defenders and puts it into back in there. So let's hold it off at this one then. We don't. We want that three goal margin for the second game, or even four. Do we get four? Mings, stay in position, mate. Don't let him get by. He's off. It's a red card. It's two yellows. Why? What is he doing? What is he doing? He didn't need to do it, did he? He just needed to jockey. The only, that's the only time I've seen him go for a tackle. They usually just jockey and stand off him. Let's have a look. Put the Garcia out there. So much else I can do, is there? Do we go counter? Yeah. Um, get more direct. Get to positions. Very high. Out wide. We'll do that. I don't want to concede another goal, that's the problem. Well, Mings means we can't feel the weakened team then, does it? Uh, well, weakened left back. He, he were our weak left back. Garcia as well, that place, isn't it? He? he can't play that. Oh, fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. We'll, we'll just go standard. It's Fredericks. He's not getting what he's player, has he? Let's let us down there. 4 2, though. Oh, they've got an injury to Vasco. Mm, they don't look out special. Is that going to be it then? 4 2. Well, that's not, if we concede another one, then it's just going to be a kick and teeth in it. Mings has really just screwed us over, basically. 24 shots to 11. We should be absolutely destroying them. Come on, defense. Get your head on it. Let's bring it back into play. But no, they're being smart. They're playing it out. Frederick. Oh, God. No, no. It's well covered by Gondonega. Volpi. Place it out to Garcia. 
Salster in centre to Mori. So them two there to support each other. Alexander's out on right. Crosses it in. Oh, Mori plays it to Salser. He's got men in front of him. Della Rossa. Ball day. Well, that was a lucky one, it. That's full time then, 4 2. We'll take it. That's not too bad. I'm very pleased with that one. Where's Mings? Yeah, should be listening keenly. So there we go then. So 4 2. Um, should we come back for that game then? I think we will do. Right, there we go. Right, guys, so what we're going to do, we'll come back for the return leg to finish it off so we see that we don't throw it away. So bear with me a second, I'll crack on with Crystal Palace game. And we're back, guys. We've had a good 3 2 victory against Crystal Palace. Not too shabby, really. We got off to quite a good start in Premier League, haven't we, so far this season? Two games, two victories. We're 3 1 against West Brom and 3 2 now against Crystal Palace. So we went with full strength team, to be honest, because we thought we needed to really more than anything. Um, Borde puts the cross in, Guare is there. Guare? Guare is there. Slots it away nicely. That's 1 0 up then. So Hebeling plays to Fredericks, crosses it, Marquise is there, just gets his foot on it, puts it into net. 2 0 up at this stage, very, very good. So they they bring one back though. Um, I'm a bit disappointed with defensive positioning. Again, I, I need to really sort it out somehow. I'm not really too sure, to be honest, how it's going to happen. But we then come back and snuck one to go 3 1 up, 60 minutes. Still open at this point. I still know I'm very capable of uh, conceding two goals in 30 minutes without a doubt. But it gets to the 81st minute. That's when they have an attack up right hand side, cross it in. Defenders just. It's like they're both just following the same man. And because of that, the guy just comes in, open, slots it away. So. The team today. So the team we're going with today then, we're making some changes, wholesale changes here. Because we're just. Resting them, aren't we? We should win this game, even with sort of second string team. So we've got Val Pete in there, Amore, Amaru and Barth at centre back partnership, Alexander Arnold at right, Rodriguez on left because Mings, even though he would be our backup, he suspended into after the red card in the first game. Got Garcia, Capella, and Samir in centre, Guari surrounded by Ibelko and De La Rosa. So let's crack on, guys, and let's see if we can get a good result today then. I mean, all we need to do is draw, don't we? If we draw, we're through. Let's have a look. No, that's probably not the right one to go with, is it? Anyway, they've got the kickoff here then, so it's 4 2 to us on aggregate, 0 0 on the night, 39 seconds in. I need to sort that set pieces out, I completely forgot actually. Oh no, don't let them, don't let them score this uh, straight away within the first minute. Met the tackle, come on. Yeah, well done, Rodriguez. Charge, mate, you're on your own there. Go away, go it alone. You cross it over to both, it's a great, great pass. Back post. Don't the rusher. Oh, God, I thought he had it in. He's hit it straight at the keeper. Straight at the keeper. Corner comes in. Barth tries to get to it. Garcia heads it back out to Gori. Back to Garcia. Sammy is, is uh, poor there. Rodriguez collects it there with Edda. It's a bit back and forth here. That's it. That's the end of the highlight then. So they've got the throw in here. Two minutes in. There's a lot of action going off in the first few minutes now. This is what I don't like. Because I don't want to be conceding this early. Good tackle. De La Rosa charging. He's got pace. Got mad at back post if we can find him. Get the cross in back post a bit go. There we go, it's 1-0. That's eased the pressure off a little bit. So we've got an away goal as well. We just need another one to make sure if it does go to, if they were to win us 4-2, then obviously that'll go into extra time, won't it? But De La Rossa did well there, used his pace. That's what we like. We need people with pace in them positions. That's what we look for in our poachers. Good physicals. So we've had two shots, they've had none. Both have been on target, which is good. Nibelko has got a 7.3 now. The assist came from Del Rosso with 6.9. Everyone else is on like 6.8, with the exception of Guari at 6.7. So maybe he needs to step up a little bit. So they're getting the shots away, though. They've had three shots, just got none on target. So that indicates to me that they're probably all long range efforts. So Alexander Arnold is on the yellow card at the minute, then. He's trying to go for ball over top. Not that that's the instruction we've given him. Guari is on side. He's been tackled. Now, this is not what I like to see. It looks like we're playing a bit poorly. I'm going to tell him to concentrate. They need to focus, because they need to be playing better than this. Samir did well there to get the ball back. Iboko is going to byline. He's getting cross in. Guaris! 2-0! And we've got off to a good start. Definitely 22 minutes, or approaching 23 minutes, is 2-0 up. Guaris is looking like an absolute brilliant player to us this year, isn't he? I think we've made the right choice by not bringing Marquez back. I'm not saying that he'd been a bad player, like, but we've just been overlooking him, haven't we? I think he will end up being a better player than Marquez, to be honest. 
Dol Ross is looking up a lot of them looking complacent. What's going on here? Um show some passion. Alexander Arnold. Tries to get Garcia, but it's a bad throw, isn't it? That's terrible, isn't it? From from a throw in. From a throw in, they pass it straight to him. What is that about? There are plenty of players around, plenty of options, they just decide to pass it straight to him. So we could quite easily concede a goal here, can't we? But the thing is, they could score three and we're still through, aren't we? So it looks like our second string team's doing okay. They're all still looking complacent, which I'm not not liking that. I'll get into it half time. I need that body language to change. Just call it ref. Come on, half time. There we go. They seem to switch on a little bit for that one then. I'm not going to make any changes yet. If I want to make a change, I'm probably going for Rodriguez because I don't want him getting injured. Oof, the better tackle. It's coming back now. Bad positioning by Bath there. I think it was well, it? Just letting it get around him. Well, that's how I'll try to get to it. That's a shot, I think. It's a shot. It's got to be. There's no one there for a cross. The team's not playing brilliant. Like Bath's having a seven. Alessandro's having a seven. Ibelko, Guari, and Dolorosa. Everyone else is just consistent. Well done. Cleared away. Guari's chasing it. He can get here, can't he? It's, it's around him. Look at this. He's going to goalie. He's got man in centre if he wants to find him. He's gone for a shot. Oh, that's, a, that's a beautiful finish. That is a beautiful finish. He's just placed it into the top corner. I'm sure he's finishing with 14 as well, but to finish it half like that, that's just fantastic, isn't it? He's done well. He's chased it down. Pele's put the tackle in, but he couldn't come away with it. And Guari. Top right corner. That's How about that? That is a beauty, isn't it? What's his finishing now? I'm intrigued. Finishing 14, so I am training to improve his finishing, but it doesn't seem to be improving because he's been on um, fin training for his finishing since last season. Saying that, though, finishing like that doesn't look like an easy that much, does it? Oh, he's got round defence here. Crosses it in. Oh, is it the crossbar? It's just bounced off the crossbar, hasn't it? Towards the uh, back of the 3 0 up now, then, so we're definitely in control here. Could lose 5 3 and still get through. Bath, place it out left. He's found Rodriguez. Cross it to Dol Dolrosa. Guari, it's a good save. Now, if I need to make changes, it's going to come at this point, isn't it? Garcia. No one there. Capella. Headed it in, but everyone was switched. The player we were aiming for had his back towards the, uh, towards the plate. Let's have a look. I think I'm just going to put him on, uh, to be honest. I just don't want him getting injured. Everyone else? Capella, maybe? We'll crack on with that. I just don't want to get injured, so that's why I'm taking him off. Capello's looking complacent. Frederick's looking uninterested, probably because I'm playing him at the opposite side. Alexander Arnold, nice one. Nice one. It's got to be Mancini, isn't it? It's about as good as it's going to get. So that's not what I wanted. That were our backup. Our only backup. What's. Tell me it's a head injury or something. Potential groin injury could be out for weeks. That's not good, particularly when it's a straight up. Uh, Removal. Shall have a quick look. See what he is. Three to four weeks. That's not good. We don't have any backup. That's terrifying. That's absolutely terrifying. Nightmare. Absolutely nightmare. Never mind. We just have to crack on with it, don't we? At least it could be worse. So, so we'll qualify there then, guys. So, let's have a quick look. Uh, see what we've got to come back to. Let's praise him. Let's hope he doesn't spit dummy out. No, it didn't. And 2.31 million. So we're into group stages now, then. So whenever that's run. So let's have a look at our schedule. What we've got to come back to. We'll come back to. Go back to Liverpool. Have Liverpool away. We'll make it an entertaining game last year, won't it? Let's hopefully get a victory this time. So that's it for today's episode, guys. So thanks for watching today. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button. Show us some support. Comments, questions down in the comment section, and I'll see you next episode. Thanks for watching.